right. We are in it tonight. In it to win it. Waiting on the uh, lady to come back. She'll join us in a minute. Waiting everybody to get in. Good evening, everybody. What's up, Marcella? Good evening, Carmisha. What's up? Good evening, good evening. So how was everybody's Easter uh, weekend? Crystal, what's going on, Crystal? <clears throat> How was everybody's weekend and Easter weekend, particularly? We got a real interesting topic tonight. Shantae, what's up? Marquita will join us in a minute. What's up, Jessica? Oh, so y'all, you not, y'all not gonna talk to me because Marquita not on. <laughs> What's up, Jessica? Hmm? I said they're not gonna talk to me because you're not on. Who's that? <laughs> I'm coming, my beloved. Okay. Joseph, there you go. There you go. What up, Joe? Chantel, what's up? I don't want this chick. I want to take some. She was excited uh, telling us about how you surprised her about, I guess, about a month ago. Visited her. You and her friend Tiffany. She said y'all uh, really made her day. Oh. <clears throat> you hear me way over there? You got earpiece? Mm hmm. Okay. Easter was good, the family. Look good too. Okay, good, 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 good. That's good. Hey, good Easter evening. is definitely different because uh, it's not a whole lot of <clears throat> dressing up anymore. Come on, son. I should make some. It's not a whole lot of dressing up as it used to hmm. be. Marquita yeah, has a, definitely uh, not. Habit of when she sits close, uh, next to me, she sits on me, in me, like gives me no room. <laughs> I can't help it. I know I've been doing that forever, ain't it? I right. just melt into you. All right. You like it. And yet I move over. And you live, you still like it. <laughs> okay, so we got a good topic tonight. Um, we are talking about. Are we jumping in? Yeah. Oh wait a minute. So anybody got any <clears throat> question? Any concerns? This this is about how to make love work. If you're just uh, visiting us. For joining us for the very first time, I am Jared. I'm Marquita. And we are the uh, founders of How to Make Love Work. Uh, it's actually an LLC. And we also do couples counseling. Mm -hmm. And so we do these um, lives every week at 8.30, of course, as you're on now. Um, and if you're, if you're actually watching this from YouTube, what's up, YouTube family? We do this. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so you get the alerts of all the videos that we are doing. We do this every single week. You can join us live here um, and talk back to us and talk with us uh, in conversation. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions about your relationship, any questions about your friend's relationship, uh, uh, about anything regarding relationship, um, hit us up. Even tonight, if you got something, just put it in the comments and we'll try and answer your question, answer, uh, give you some advice about whatever it is that you are wanting advice on. Now, we're going to share with you now, especially my, my advice... Fun. Yeah, okay. my advice is not always um, pretty, yeah. but I promise you it will definitely help you. Hey, mother, how you doing? Mother Diane. Diane. Miss Diane is on Deaconess. Marcella, hey. Crystal, oh, okay. Chantel. Yeah, I'm looking at everybody. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining. All right, here we go. So we're talking about 
Dwayne Wade and Gabri- Gabrielle Union. Mm-hmm. Is she Gabrielle Union Wade? Mm-hmm. So Dwayne Wade, the uh, basketball star that was with the Heat. Was he always with the Heat? Mm-hmm. He stayed with the Heat the whole time? Mm-hmm. And then Gabrielle Union, um, an actor, Wade, uh, they have a son, which is actually biologically Dwayne Wade's son. It is his youngest mm-hmm. son, right? Their youngest child they had together. Okay, so we're talking about his name is what? His name is was Zion. He's a transgender. Um, he identifies as transgender gender, and it now goes by the name Zaya, and identifies with the she and her hers. pronouns. Hers. She, her, hers pronouns. So, so we're talking about there was a uh, a post an Easter um, family picture Mm -hmm. of the weights, and you remember who was on that picture? It was Dwayne and Gabrielle, and then it was Zaire. That's Dwayne's eldest biological child with his girlfriend. Um, and then and both, there were they're, they're actual uh, heterosexual. Actual, they are heterosexual. And then we have Zaya and her lover. So Zaya is Dwayne Wade's son, who used to be Zaya. All right. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk in a way that I can understand. Okay. I'm going to try to be sensitive to. Uh, the LGBTQ uh, community in what they are requesting that they want, how they want to be um, referred to as. But I don't want to confuse myself. So I'm going to talk in very plain English in the way that I can understand it. So we're talking good about... Caveat. But, uh-huh. That's a good caveat. Yeah. So Zion um, is Dwayne Wade's son who now likes to be called Zaya mm-hmm. uh, who is a who was a who is a male that wants to be referred to as a female. All right. Now Zaya, mm-hmm. which is Dwayne Wade's son, <clears throat> has a lover. You know the name? Hudson. Last name? I don't know. So Hudson is Dwayne Wade's lo- uh, uh, son's lover. Now can you ex- explain the lover? Okay, so the lover is identified as a transgender, I don't know, so it was a girl, a, yeah. not as a boy. So the lover used, um, is, was born a girl. Now here's the language. The language as it is used <clears throat> is uh, pre-operative female to male. So she was a pre-operative female. Female to male. Okay. Uh, they didn't have any operation. Okay. But that's uh that's are they considered too young to have the operation? I'm not sure. Why is there an age limit? Hmm. Wait, I'm I'm so confused. Okay. So let's <laughs> Dwayne Wade's youngest son identifies now as a girl. So so okay, so before we go to before what before so because here's why it's interesting. Because before we go to what they identify as, let's talk about what they were technically born as. Okay. I'm trying to be sensitive. Technically, Dwayne Wade has a son who has a lover who used to be, who is a girl. Now, Dwayne Wade's son wants to be a female and the lover, the lover wants to be a boy. And they're dating. All right. So I'm going to say it again. You got a boy and a girl who both decided to change their genders. Uh, and Inoperatively. Now, uh, without operation. Mm-hmm. So now the boy, which is Dwayne Wade's son, wants to be referred to as a girl. Now the girl, Hudson, wants to be referred to as a male. Okay, we got it? Mm -hmm. I got it? Thumbs up. I want to make sure everybody is is clear. And then you said who was on the picture. And then Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union Wade have a child together. And her name is Kavia. 
right. So now this was a family photo of the Wades. Mm -hmm. The mother and father, Dwayne and Gabrielle, their oldest son with his uh, girlfriend, then their baby, and then their uh, son, Zaya, with his lover, Hudson. What's interesting, I honestly was having a conversation last night with um, uh, a homosexual friend of mine. And um, he was bothered by the fact you have that you have this same situation where you have a man who now likes men but ends up dating a girl who's turned a man. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's like, are you heterosexual or are you homosexual? Mm -hmm. Because you are a, a man who says you like men, but you end up dating a woman who wants to be, to be a man. One. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I always think about men that I used to be one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, for the friend. And, uh, yes. So I want, so I was, I was caught off by, I didn't know what Marquita just shared about Hudson, about their genders and switching on. I didn't know that yet. But what I was initially caught off by with the photo was that he's such a young person, 14 year old, and he's hugged up in a family photo with his lover. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what I was caught off. He called, well, Zaya calls Hudson <coughs> significant other. Significant other. So I was caught off by that. I don't know. I mean, not, I don't know. I do know. At 14, so at 14, I know Zaya is 14. All right. So I assume. And came out when Zaya was 12. I assume that the lover of Hudson mm -hmm. is uh, <coughs> close in age because mm -hmm. they look close in age. And at 14, my mother and father was, was, were not going to be uh, letting me be hugged up with somebody <coughs> in a family photo. Not Matter of fact, family. they would not have even allowed whoever you guys I was some quote unquote not even dating. I'm 14, I'm not even dating somebody I was, who, I, who I was going with <laughs> be on our family photo. That we're going to now, especially in, in this social media, uh, be out. You know, this it's, it's an official picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, because they posted it. So, yeah, it's an official, yeah, official it's a, photo. It's an official, it's an official photo. So, <clears> I, <throat> I want to know, you know what I mean, what do you guys think about just that? We got a lot of layers here. But the fact that they have, they put on an official picture with their 14-year-old who has a lover or a significant other. Um, That's the first thing. What y'all feel about that? Jay says, even if it were adults, it's still confusing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sony. <laughs> Hello. Marky, what did you think about that? Um, I think it was just their dynamic. Um, but for my family, that's too young. That's too young. I mean, we didn't even take what you remember back in the day in high school. We took those cute couple photos, but you know the Valentine's Day photos, and you still didn't pose like that. You sat down low, the guy said the stick stood up, and he may have had his hands on your shoulders, and it wasn't stiff or anything like that, but we still didn't take them. I mean, even prom, when we're Shit seniors. Like that, like what? <clears throat> how were they in the photo? They were hugged, like, I mean, hugged up. And then, there's wait, a... Wait, 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 we're going to Oh, okay, because I can get there. <clears throat> Not my Monday. Not my show. I get it. And that's that's most people's opinion. But so the the conversation is not just about the ways, but also about uh, your family dynamic. Like, mm -hmm. what is the the rule of thumb for your family? <clears throat> also, I want to talk about tonight is what happens when you have a person in your family that is transgender, um, and this happened, like you say, at twelve years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what happens now, Dwayne, William, and Gabrielle Union have a, a great dynamic because they seem to both be on the same page. Mm -hmm. So what if you have a dynamic where in the parents are, yeah, the parents are not on the same page? Mm -hmm. One is OK with it and the other seems not to be OK with it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Yeah. So I want to know like, what I think about it. All right. So here's another layer of it. Another layer. And now there's this is not judgment towards whatever they're doing. It's just interesting to talk about. I mean, it's an interesting dynamic because it doesn't match our dynamic. And so it becomes an interesting <clears> conversation, <throat> marriages, relationships, 
uh, 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 companions will have to, uh, may have to contend with this, you know what I mean? So, and only that, but you have children, then you have your children that are watching this, and these people become uh, the uh, fixated societal norms, and what do you do? How do you have conversations like this with your children? <clears throat> so, the other picture that came out was that it was two others that uh, that that I, I saw. One, mm-hmm. they were face to face kissing. I mean, all in um, kissing on a picture. Now, Hudson posted that. Oh, Hudson posted that. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, so they're, they're they're kissing, and then there's another one where Gabrielle and Dwayne Wade's uh, Zaya is lay, is laying his head on. Hudson's chest, you know, just kind of laid up, laid up somewhere. Um, and that is, that's out there too. Mm-hmm. So what do y'all, you know, so what did you think about it? Um, I guess because we run a tight ship over here, I guess with our children. So for one, you're not having uh, social media and because <clears throat> it's just too much exposure like this. It's too much exposure for me to just I feel like I'm just giving you a license to just do whatever because I can't physically control you I can say don't do this don't do that be this be that but your young mind you're gonna do whatever you feel you want to do and think you can possibly get away with yeah even if you do something and have it out there for a while and then delete it I'm just I'm not going through that you're too young for social media and you just I'm not gonna give you the access I'm not gonna give you access to it. So Hold this. I don't know. I gotta call. <clears throat> you see that thing we hear. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> anyway, so uh, all of it was just quite, uh, just quite interesting to me. And then the the other part of it is that, like I was sharing with you, my uh, friend, he was saying how. Uh, he just doesn't get it, you know, if you're homosexual, you know, and, it, and he's of age, he's like, homosexual, you, a man likes a man, um, and if you're a woman, a lesbian, um, likes a, a woman, you know, but here you have it, we're in, you have the opposite sex, you have the opposite sex, born a male, born a female, now they both say that they are homosexual, or gay, or whatever you, you call it, and now, but now they end up with the opposite sex. <laughs> it's just, it, it's just quite interesting because uh, Zion was a, because here, here's, at the end of the day, when you talk, talking about actual intimacy, sex, mm-hmm. a man to man doesn't have sex the same way a man to woman has it. But in this situation, they can both have, they can have sex the way a man and a woman can, 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 can have it. Once they, I guess once they get their Operations? No, we're talking about operations. Oh, you're talking about operation. right now free operation? Because maybe they won't ever get an operation. You're right. I think the confusion comes in because it's the whole identify thing. Even though you can look at me and tell I'm a whole woman, I'm a whole female, you have those that say, I don't feel like a woman on the inside. I feel like I'm supposed to be a man. So that's why it's okay. That if I'm dating you and you look like a man, but you, or you look like a girl, but you, you, you really a man on the inside, then that, oh, okay. So you identify as this. So we're good. It's, it's, it's the whole it's, identify it's, it's thing. It's that, hard for me to understand. Joe says, man, I'm calling it what it is. They are not preparing. They are not parenting. They are letting their child do whatever he feels like doing. I just want to know. Joe didn't even uh, try to say she none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe said he. All right, Jay says, I've learned the more you try to change a person's mind about a thing, a person, the more he or she will continue to do whatever it is <clears throat> you don't approve of. There is nothing a person can really do but state your opinion and keep it moving. At the end of the day, it's each to its own. I think it's each to its own once you get out of my house. That's what I was going to say. Um, I'm not going to force you to be, if you are homosexual, 
I'm not gonna force you to be a heterosexual, but I don't. But uh, there, I'm not gonna. I'm <clears throat> to each its own. I'm not. I was gonna say I'm not going. Hey to, Terry. Um, I ain't as a parent. I'm also not going to. I decided not to condone uh, whatever it is you may be experimenting with right now. Because, like I said, your mind as a child is still developing as a child. Some children mature faster than others. But in my eyes, you're still a minor and you're still a child. Whatever I birthed you to be, whatever you, you were when you came out of me, then while you're in my home, that is what I will refer to you as. That's what I will identify with you. To, or that's what you will identify to me as. And probably, I mean, I think that's where the issues come in in different families because you have those parents that are staunch. And it's like, out there, you can be whoever and whatever you want to be. But when you come in here, I know who you are, who I so, am. So, so what do you do? So they are who you want them to be, who you birth them to be. Mm-hmm. And then when they get grown, they decide, I am no longer male, I am female. Do you embrace that or do you? Refuse to embrace what they desire you to embrace. That would be, I mean, I can talk all day long because I'm not in that situation. So I'll just talk and tell you my belief. I guess, like I just said, whatever you want to be and whatever you do outside, that's fine. I love you. You are my child, and that's what you want to be, or whatever. But I'm not going to allow you to strip strip yourself of what I know. So what are you saying? You're not asking my question. Or do you not have an answer? I don't I don't have an, a definite answer because I'm not in that situation. So I, I don't know how I would feel because if it was one of my biological children, I don't know how I would feel about that. I just don't. And that's just the God and the truth. I don't know what I would be faced with, how I would deal with that. My mind is telling me you're going to be You are who I birthed you to be, point blank period. Whether you get mad at me and say, I want you to have a tantrum. I want you to call me this, and I want you to acknowledge that I want to be this, this, that. Okay, I acknowledge that you want to be this, then that I will not abide by it. Not not under this roof. Forget the roof, but they're not under the roof anymore. When you come see me, I'm talking to who I birthed. When you see me, you are who I birthed you to be. All right. Okay, so what's interesting to me is that there's an uh, article that D.L. Hughley um, uh, put out. <clears throat> it says, uh, it says, uh, two female inmates are. Joe, I'm sorry. Joe, two female inmates are reportedly pregnant after having consensual sex with a transgender inmate. At the only all female prison in New Jersey. So, because you say you're a woman? So, two female inmates are pregnant from inmates at an all female prison. Here's what happened State's Department of Corrections said two inmates at the Edna. Uh, Mahan Correctional Facility are expecting babies with one or two transgender inmates, but it is currently unclear. While DOC cannot comment on any specific disciplinary or housing decisions that may be considered in these events, the department always reserved blah, blah, blah. blah. How do we get get into it, Markita? Currently, there are 27 inmates who identify as transgender, according to whatever that is. Some female inmates filed a lawsuit against the facility last year for allowing free operative mail, which means they did not have an operation. It is a man. But he said transgender saying- inmates to stay in the jail. I believe it is highly inappropriate for the NJDOC to place free operative male to female allegedly transgender inmates in a women's pr- prison. One of the inmates wrote who had a gender confirming surgery before her imprisonment. So what that means that this is an all female prison, but they allowed males mm-hmm. who are considered transgender, which means they still have a penis, but they consider themselves female, 
to be imprisoned with other female inmates. And you thought was well, nobody gonna get pregnant. And now these biological males who consider themselves females have now <clears throat> impregnated <laughs> two other females. So you're transgender, but you have a male genital. You consider yourself female, but you have a male genital, and they put you in the prison with other actual females. And now these who you thought were gay, they don't hate. They hate fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no fish. <laughs> have dove straight into the sea and come up with two people pregnant. So this, to me, if that's so confusing, it's either if you're a guy, you say I don't like females. I want a man, and yet. You're in the prison with other females. Something happened. Yeah. To where you were turned on and now she's pregnant. Here's the same situation. It seems to be the same situation with Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade's son and his significant other, where he has a male genital, a genitalia, and his lover has a female genitalia. Mm-hmm. But they're supposed to be both gay. They're supposed to be same mm-hmm. sex loving. Right? That's what gay mean, right? I don't know. It's 2022. Everything has so many different uh, definitions. So know. I'm thinking, you know, Zaya is supposed to want a man. Now, the person he's with is more, is more masculine than he, but she has a vagina. She's a she. Woo! As long as you identify as a female, they can't send you to a male facility. That's what Jessica said. I guess that's true. But Joe says he's about to start identifying as a white man. And let's see how that works. It didn't work. Cause they, cause <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. Because just like them, you identify, he identifies as a female, but he's a man, and we didn't got him a female. And went straight so to the So he can identify as a white man. And it can tell you. And he's black. They can say and whatever. And you get food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. But it's just. I guess I, the confusion comes in where, and it's not that, oh, we're not trying Did to you hear seek. About this? Yeah. It's not that we're not trying to seek to understand. It is, it is extremely confusing. And then you get offended because somebody's looking at you and like, dog, you are a man or you, you're a girl. But you're going off saying, it is she or it is he. And you mad at me because I'm looking at you and what my mind is computing is this is XYZ. Wait a minute. Jay says you have to have female parts to be with women or you get sent to segregation. Mm. Oh, okay. So if you haven't had the operation, then you are separated. Right. That's what that's how I was like, how or they get together. You are a man and you go to man jail. That's what be? segregation. Y'all separate. Segregation I mean, I'm thinking that means oh, you're still in the prison with them, but you just separated from them. Oh, no, you need to go over to the man prison. Until, if you had an operation, then, then y'all, I guess they'll, you not only identify, but now you got the female parts, as Jay say. Now you can go on and, because they have to strip down and everything, so they'll see it. Now you got to go on and go on to the women's um, facility. <laughs> All right, so let's 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 turn this now. What happens if your mate decides I no longer like, I no longer am a heterosexual. I like I'm, I, I like same sex, or they say I'm both. Or I identify. We're in a relationship, but I also am attracted to the same sex. What do you do? Or do what? you feel... Hmm? What? What? It's Andrew? like Andrew Gillum. Or what's his name? Bruce Jenner? Oh, he just had a whole... <laughs> Andrew Gillum. Andrew Gillum is fully oh, married. Oh, okay. But he likes men as well. He's fully married to a woman, mm-hmm. has children. Mm-hmm. But he also likes men. Not only does he like men, but he... Uh, he itches the urge of being with a male. He, he scratches, rather, the itch of the urge he has to be with a male. Oh, he's married with a woman. You say, what What do we do? Yeah, do you feel betrayed? Are, are you out? Because his wife is not out. She probably knew that from the beginning going in. So do you feel betrayed? I think they just do you hit feel that. that down? Is it shame? Do you feel embarrassed? 
Uh, do you feel inadequate? Like, I'm not oh, enough? No. I don't think I would feel inadequate. But you have some people that feel like they could change them. This this good stuff could change them. And then, then when they realize they can't, then they will feel inadequate. But no, I, I don't think I would feel inadequate. So I probably would feel betrayed. Out. Right, I would feel betrayed. And yeah, we're just going to sever this right now. <laughs> Chantel said, I'm sending him to you for some counseling and drowning him in holy oil. If he like boys when he come to me, he, he gonna, gonna like boys. boys when he leave, you drown in holy oil. Yep. Or girls. If, if she like girls when he come to me, <laughs> when she come to me, I'm gonna drown in holy oil. She's gonna get up like girls. Mm -hmm. Just with that, stuff like that make you commit murder because you're supposed to let me know that before I sleep with you. Point Ooh. blank, period. Ooh. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if they say, hey, I like this and that, I like both. Okay, then you need to, that needs to be up front. Uh, and nowadays, in the beginning, God made male and female, and I like them. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> so, my thing is. Nowadays, these poor children, I mean, Straight you got to gotta ask, so, they're going to have to ask so many questions with dating. Right. What were you born as? What do you identify with? What was on your birth certificate? All that kind of stuff. I mean, they, and, and the government was really trying to, there are some organizations that are really trying to strip that away to where strip you, away. on the birth certificate, where you don't have to uh, define define the gender. But how not? I mean, because now you're, you're, you're now you're talking about the parents deciding. I didn't want a girl. I want because they're baby. They can't say whether I'm exactly. a girl or a boy. So if they strip that from the birth certificate, you have the parents deciding. I didn't like the gender that came out. I want this to be the opposite gender, and then that or, person may not even be a, 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 a homosexual mm -hmm. or lesbian when they when when they're born when they're born or, or when they get of age, and you've changed their gender. Not knowing what will happen. That's 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 that's, yeah, that's crazy. I, they leave it off now. They or they said they'll leave it off and let the child have a choice when the child becomes of age. And uh, what but what is of age? Yeah. I don't know. Of age to me would be between eighteen and twenty one. That's of age. Decide, but you. That's it's just I don't try. It's, yeah. Read from now because I can't. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. Joseph, I see what Joseph. And just to be clear, now we are we we're, we're in support of LGBTQ or whoever it is you want to be. Be who you want to be. But we still Love have you our to. thoughts, you know, trying to wrap our mind around as well. Mm-hmm. Because we're not. I mean, we're all God's children, and we're not. We are not uh, ostracizing anyone for whatever their choices and their decisions are. And at the same time. We're still trying to wrap our minds around and understand what is happening in our world mm -hmm. with just people, young and old. What is happening right, so, so that we can get a better understanding? Joe put some scripture up here. Now, this is my type of talk. Let's see if I can get some clarity to this. Joe says, yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result... Their minds became dark and confused. Claiming to be wise, they instead became utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious, ever-living God, they worshiped idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. So God abandoned them. Mm. They perverted. To do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about uh, God for a lie, so they worshiped and served the things God created instead of the creator himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them. It says that twice. To do their shameful desires, or to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, Burned with lust for each other. Oh, that's one thing I just I do not understand that though. What? I guess lesbianism. Big, especially with the whole <clears throat> contraption and stuff. It's like 
Well, what do you want from a woman? Like, you just want caressing and cuddling or whatever? Because they going to get a whole strap on. That's a male genitalia. So what is it? I don't, I, I don't understand that. Like, I can't grasp my mind around that. Men did shameful things with, each, with, with other men. And as a result of this sin, they refused, or they suffered, rather, within themselves the penalty they deserved. Wow. I, I'm, I'm not even going to uh, try to add anything to that. That's just, you know, Bible is what it is. So What scripture was that? That was Romans. That was in Romans. Oh. Romans. Romans chapter 1. Look, uh, I guess Romans chapter 1. Uh, 21 like, uh, or something. Old Testament. No, that's New Testament. That's mm-hmm. definitely New Testament. That's what mm-hmm. What's up, Cornelius? Now, now, and again, listen, I love, I love people. Mm-hmm. I love I don't really don't even like saying LGBTQ. I just love people, period. It doesn't matter whatever it is you do to bear. I, right. I, I just love people. However, I, I see the same thing because you are a heterosexual woman. You have the same um, con- concerns or confusion that, that I have as a heterosexual male. Because I look at a uh, two guys who are together and I'm like, especially if there's uh, if there's penetration, it's like you got a whole female here. Mm-hmm. Like if you want to, if if it's we're penetrating, you got you got a, you got a few uh, compartments over here. But with still, her. with the men, they want to feel penetration. The woman wants to feel penetration. Well, why you want to feel a woman can't penetrate you? That's my right, confusion. Saying, I said you got a man. Men, you there are men, some men that want to feel penetration. But, but you also have some gay men that don't want to be penetrated. That's true too. So that's 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 it. Yeah. It's like, well, what do you want? Are, are you gay? Right. Because <laughs> if you true. don't want penetrate, right? They and will then, penetrate that's other true. men. So that's what confuses me. Yeah, men will penetrate other men and will not be penetrated by other men, but they will penetrate other men. It's like if you are still being a man penetrating, why are you just gonna get it? You know, mm-hmm. then. Then what becomes the attraction for a man? Right, that's what I'm saying. Just like with women, like what is the attraction? Is it the softness, the cuddling, the caressing? I mean, the smell, the scent. Like what? Is, what becomes attracting, attractive for a woman to want a woman, especially when you want to be penetrated? I just I don't want. I do not understand that. You want another woman to penetrate? Now here's the thing: we don't understand it. We're not criticizing being... or anything condescending about it. Because mm-hmm. if you are, you maybe you have us mm-hmm. to understand that uh that that world. because uh, it is a whole world. And here's the thing. I I have to assume that it's not something that is horrible to them. Mm-hmm. Obviously it's not horrible to them. You know, obviously it's 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 their um Ex, ex, uh, this their exciting pleasure. It goes back to my my thoughts and my saying. I think we were riding the car or something. I was like, everything is just so sexual. Like everything is just so sexual. Like this whole movement is sexual. And they, but you know, we said that love is love. Yeah, Everybody I mean, loves that's, who that's, love. That's, that's that's us on the outside looking. And that it could we, be. we only see the sexual, or we only perceive the sexual part of it, because some yeah. uh, of, of, of of them, um, uh, it may may not be sexual. They just uh, they just prefer the companionship of the same sex, the same gender. But they gonna have sex sometimes in some kind of way. But maybe. So that's why I feel like like sexual sexual, I don't want to say sexuality, but just sexualness. Is the driving force. Everything, in my opinion, is just sexual. And it's like, I guess, you know, growing up, like, that's that's in, that's private. You don't have to declare your sexualness for uh, for me or for anybody. And you want to force me to, like, even with, like, uh, because, because you, like, with a lot of uh, homosexuals, because you're homosexual, now you, like, well, I want to see some homosexual stuff on TV too. Or so now, okay, well, let's make sure we get homosexual stuff on TV in the scenes and on the Netflix and on the other uh, subscription apps and all this stuff. You don't so, agree with that? It's not that I don't agree with it. I'm just, I'm just, I guess that's just proving my point that everything is so <laughs> sexual. 
Yeah, because it's like every, it's dri- everything is driven by sex now. But I'm saying, Good if God. you want to see your life or the life you lead portrayed in in things around you, I didn't sexual. Because it just it's gonna lead to sex, sex some kind of way. But I think that's your perception of it. Because you know, right. I mean, because I, I think the same thing with you know, I don't want to see only white people everywhere. I want to see black people, because it's black people as well, because that's mm-hmm. the life that I lead. That's not sexual. Okay. You know what I mean? And I don't That's necessarily... That's a good, valid point. Yeah, I don't necessarily... I mean, it's like, like Bernie Mac said, the Asians do. <laughs> they want to see just white and black. They want to see some Asian You're right. stuff too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's not sexual. Um, just like, you know, I want... I don't necessarily want to uh, see the homosexual lifestyle in all of my movies. I want to see what I like. You know? Mm-hmm. I, and, and it's not sexual. I just what, the, uh, what you identify with. Right, I want to see what I identify with, and it has nothing to do with sex. Uh, you know, I'm just, you know, a a, a guy. You know, I don't. Yeah, so I, so yeah, I don't think it's. I, I think that you want to see what you feel is the norm for you. That's what. That's what it is. Right. Okay. And if you are a same sex loving person, then it is normal for you in your world to see same sex persons interacting. Like any other heterosexual person. And it and I mean it don't bother me. I'm like, okay. You know, you can see him walking down the street, driving, whatever, or like the show we're watching or whatever. Okay, whatever. What show? Uh Marriage okay, yeah. yeah. And people just I mean, y'all living y'all lives. Now that's just like you said, now there are times where it's like I just like I don't wanna see the love. I don't wanna see the sexual stuff. Because that's where you have the problem. That's where I draw yeah. Because mm-hmm. when you are, we are watching a heterosexual uh, movie. It's fine. Right, because mm-hmm. you don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Because that's my norm. Right. Just like the opposite with um. So so to uh not demonize it, but to call it a problem, like they they doing this too much and mm-hmm. it's always sexual, mm-hmm. is to in essence say that it's not my norm, and so uh, I'm going to see my norm. Mm-hmm. So, but you 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 can't call it a problem. It's not a problem. Because if that's your life, that's your life. Then that's just as normal as looking at a plant. I guess so. Until it's not your life, and it's like, what? But why? Why they got pigs on the, uh, you know, in the house? That's not mm-hmm. your life. Like that's stupid. That's stupid. Why they got pigs in the house? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just like people who see us and we have a dog in the house, and the dog goes everywhere mm-hmm. in 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 our house. Y'all crazy as heck. Y'all got a dog just roaming roaming your house. The dog supposed to be outside. Mm-hmm. So then they then something's wrong with us. Mm-hmm. So what did Joe say? My big problem is why people can't be happy with what God made. If born a man, you are a man. I think Joe to that is it's the whole identifying thing. Like I feel like I'm supposed. I was born in the wrong body. I feel like I'm supposed to be. A, but that's, the opposite but that's, that's the opposite deciding gender. to, you know what I mean, um, agree with what God did. You know, I guess that's what he's saying. There. Uh, even if you like a man, that's fine. Why not be a man that like men? With why physically change your body? Because they got to go along with it. I, if I feel like a man, I want to look like a man. I want to sound like a man. I got to act the way a man acts and say, bro. If you're a woman. You're right. And then it's the opposite. If I feel like a girl, then I need to look like a girl. I got to dress like a girl. I got to act how a girl is supposed to how a girl's act. Right. So, okay, Terry says, so, Laura, so much I want to say, but I wanted to share that when my daughter told me that she liked women, I think I put the light and the chair and she had to tell me why this was her choice. Mm-hmm. Right. Like Cornelia said, inclusion. inclusion. So you have to, you, you not have to, but I know in our case, well, I'll say in my case, and you can share your case as well. I like the person. Yep. Um, and I'm not bothered with whatever you do um, behind closed doors because I'm not involved. Uh, and I like the person. I like that person, who, who, whoever you may be involved with. That's how I feel. I like, like the person too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have much, much love to it. And I respect whatever it is you decide to uh, do Behind closed doors or in, in out in the open. Like my nail tattoo, because that's your business. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 
it, it's, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't. It really, to me, it doesn't bother me in the least. I don't have a phobia of it. Uh, now, trying to understand it, That's a, yeah. as far as the attraction, is where you get some sideways looks because I'm I don't know I just don't understand it right you know um but other than that hey you know it, it is what it is now I mean I honestly uh I, would, I mean they do the same thing because they're like I don't see why you're a hetero they have nicknames for heterosexuals and they give sideways remarks as well like we're abnormal as well <laughs> true they true. do which is why now I can respect it and here's the other thing too I I don't know why I, I guess this is the subject. But here's the other thing too. When when it comes to um when it comes to that, I just feel like, you know, some people say, you know, I've always liked uh the same sex. Here's how I feel about that. I can only talk about my experience. Mm-hmm. I've always liked the opposite sex. Nobody taught me to do that. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't I, there was never a question and it never has been a question. It was natural. So if you tell me, hey, you know, I've always liked the same sex, it was natural. I can identify with that in that that was my story too. Mm -hmm. Nobody taught me to like women. You know what I mean? Um, Nobody taught me to be attracted to women. It's it's always been there. It's the whole identifying thing. So it's like, you know, uh, I get it. I mean, no, I get it from my perspective. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I get you attracted to whoever you are attracted to. If I try to, um, if I try to understand what you like about it, how you like it, then I get fussy. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you say you like that, okay, cool, I like that. Mm-hmm. Well, how did you like that? I've always, I've always liked it. I don't know. Okay. Me too. I've always liked it that. I don't know. Okay, I get it. So that's my take. What's, 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 what's yours? Uh, I mean, I agree. <laughs> I just get confused and then I don't want my confusion. You agree? Or, or, or do you agree? That was a I don't, whole try. I don't want my confusion to come off as condescending or judging or anything like that. So that's why. I'm, okay, you explain. Your confusion? Yeah. What's your confusion? Like what you just explained. If I try to explain it, it's going to come off, it's going to sound different. So I agree. <laughs> All right, so let's see what it is. But I also want to know, like, parents. How do parents deal with it when you have one parent that understands and is in agreement and you have another parent who totally is not? That that would be something. Like, I, I want to know, like, does, does anybody know if um, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife, does, has she ever said anything publicly about her, son, or her, her son, child? Um, her child. Yeah. Because I don't know. I have, I have friends that. that are, you know, just uh, married, husband and wife, they're both, they're both heterosexual, but they have uh, children that uh, are completely um, same sex loving and they're young, just like this situation. Young, 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 young. Um, 13, 14. And uh, uh, one has a son that uh, is almost fully. Feminine, dress like a girl, da da da, uh, and they're church people as well. And what I see though in them, same thing I see in Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, that they just love their child. They 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 embrace their child, uh, and they um, and they allow their child to be whatever their child wants to be. What I admire is that they love them and without restriction. They they love them without limitation on that child. Uh, I don't know if I would do that as well as they do, the way eats mm-hmm. or uh, those friends, friends. of mine. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know that, that I would do that uh, as well. I do, the thing that I do connect with them is my love, love for, for my children. child. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it does make me wonder, mm-hmm. you know. Let me see the comments to my question. Um, someone said she don't like it. It says... I heard someone say she will only call him Zion. I don't know how true that is. So, right, I haven't heard anything. Read that, that one. All right, so Jay says, this is a conversation people are not really ready to have. First, let's think about what's being put in the food. That plays a part in it, too. All right? Cornelius says, yes, but it, but if you look at the Greek history, they show mm-hmm. portraits 
for portrayals, portrayals yeah. in the mythology. Greek mythology. mythology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not true. new. Yeah, this, nothing is new under yeah, the sun. Yeah, this is not new. It's not new at all. And mm-hmm. that's good. Um, they sure do. Oh, that's where all orgies and all that stuff come from. Yeah, mm-hmm. so Kanini says, I believe you have to try and understand your child and support them regardless. I agree with that. Uh, I, I totally agree with that. I just don't know how difficult for me it would be. Right. I am committed to supporting my child and loving my child. Now, I'll be honest. I'm committed to supporting and loving my child, but I don't know if I would decide I'm just going to support and love my child from a distance so that I don't, so don't have to deal with my issues. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, or, and, and that parents do that whether or not it's, you know, the whole uh, sexuality issue or not deal to uh, deal with their children from a distance yeah. because of a, very, a myriad of reasons. So I don't know if I would flip out. I may flip out if I had a, uh, um, I think it's, it's almost harder to see it in the, in the girl because we, because society um, embraces tomboy. Mm-hmm. Girls being tomboys. Mm-hmm. So you may not necessarily see it. You know, if she's dressing baggy clothes and because um, it's always still a femininity to them. Right. So it's like you them. embrace the tomboy. Mm-hmm. But I think for the uh so you probably won't have a problem with that. I probably won't have a problem. But I perhaps if my son um came in and came in wearing a dress and and, and um lipstick and um and is very young in age, then that may be an issue. Back upstairs, please. Now um, mm-hmm. Then that may be something harder. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, let's, let's, let's see what's in this conversation is getting interesting. Uh, Terry says, My daughter felt she couldn't tell me because I was in leadership at church and mm-hmm. I felt sad because my daughter and I are besties and I never wanted my child or my children to, to feel that they can't talk to me. Mm-hmm. They can't talk to right. mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, so there, is, mm-hmm. there is the common denominator that love for your, for your child, child. Mm-hmm. often supersedes. Uh, whatever your uh, whatever your issues are. Yeah. All right, Joe says we can't control every thought that comes across our mind, but we have a responsibility to choose what thought we hold on to. Mm-hmm. We can't just go off every feeling we have about everything. Example: Have you ever thought about just busting someone in the face at work? Of course, oh, God. you probably have, have, but you choose not to. So if you are born a man and you have different thoughts towards men, you then have an opportunity to choose to go forth with that on that thought. If we just let our feelings and thoughts drive us, we'll be all jacked up. Randy says, yes, it would be difficult. I may not agree with that. it, but it's something you can. You can work towards. I'm sorry, I'm reading all funny because my dog ran crazy. <laughs> But yeah, so this is this 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 is a, a, a topic that has a lot of opi- op- opinions and a lot of different uh, uh, angles. Ooh. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's no right or wrong. I mean, I think it is safe to say the the good thing to I won't say the right thing, but the good thing to do is to love your not only your child but to love people. Period. Yeah, and that's that's no matter I mean, what they decide to do. In their sexual life. Yeah, because I mean, I guess my thing is like going back to the parents. The parents with the uh, conflicting views. I think, like you said, the bottom line is they're they're gonna love their child. Um, but I think you'll have parents. Well, we hope we, some. Yeah, some, some may not be able to get over. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Um, but we hope that that will be the bottom line that they will love their child, and even if they don't understand it. Um, I think like even with our friends, um, they seek to just try to love their child and love them through whatever phase they're in right now. And when I say phase, meaning stage of life that they're in right now, then again, you have people that will love their child and still say, however, not until you get out of my house. Will or I, will I accept yeah, this I or I accept son, you're not wearing a dress. Period. Or however, mm-hmm. uh, it's usually on the sons. We have quite honest with you. You know what I mean? Because no, because you have some parents like mothers uh, that's like 
you were my daughter and you're going to be ladylike, you're going to be feminine and do all this and all that. But they may not make her wear a skirt or a dress. They may not make her wear a skirt or a dress, but they're going to make sure that whatever they buy is not going to be, uh, I guess, easily depicted as, okay, now you, I'm, I, it's like I'm obliging you wanting to look like a dude. Yeah, yeah. Because they may say you're going to put on these fitted jeans or you're going to put on these bell bottoms or whatever. You don't have to wear a skirt, but this is, you're going to look feminine. Like you're in my house. You have parents that's going to do that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what's up, Ken? Ken says, this is a gender to attack our kids, and I can't let that happen on my watch. This mm. is that a gender to attack our kids. I'm sorry. Why Why our kids? Mm. You mean say our, you mean um, African-American? Don't we have or the right to general? lead our kids the correct way of living? And if he or she decides to go that way when they're grown, when they're grown. that's on them. That's how I feel. When you're grown, and grown means not depending on mom and dad to pay your bills. Buy your you own tampons. Buy your own tampons. <laughs> Do you, boo-boo. All right. Joe says everything is to be done in love. You can love and disagree with someone's actions and lifestyle. No mm-hmm. matter what everything, no matter what everyone thinks. There is right and wrong way to do things, period. Yeah. So just like uh, Terry was saying, you know, um, you don't want to get to, you. I, well, well, everybody is not like this, but most will say, well, some will say, I never want to get to a point to where my child can't talk to me. Right. Okay? My, my child can't come to me about this or about that. And a lot of, uh, I've, I've heard um, a lot of uh, same-sex loving people say, well, I heard my parent talking about this in a mm. negative way to other people. And so I was never going to tell them that I was that person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that they were talking about and laughing about. Mm-hmm. And so that created an intimidation and a wall uh, between them and their parent because mm-hmm. they was like, I'll never talk to them mm-hmm. about this because I know how you feel about it. Mm-hmm. So I've already talked to you about it by listening to you talk to other people. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so we all have to, yeah, we got to be very careful what we do and say, especially around our children. Even when you think they're not listening. Because um, you just never go, well, know what's going on in their little mind. Yeah. But you still got to help guide them. Because they're they're immature. So this is what, uh, in a relationship, you may have to contend with. And if, you, and if you're not careful, this could tear up the relationship. Right. This could, this, this, the child. Now, I'm going to say this. The child, which is a third party to the relationship. Mm-hmm. A child, which is the outsider to the relationship, mm-hmm. though those both seem harsh uh, or uh, hard to swallow. But at the end of the day, this is the one. Right. This unit is the one. Mm-hmm. The child is an outsider to the one. The child is a, a, third, a, a party. third party mm-hmm. to the one. And if you're not careful, you will allow that third party to uh, break up the and like especially with the parents, one that you know they're conflicting, that can definitely be a factor, because I say I want this and this is how, and I feel like you're going against that, and vice versa. And at the end of the day, you have to also let your spouse have their own opinion, even if, even if it differs from your opinion. I was going to say that you mm-hmm. have to let them have their own opinion, even if it differs from your opinion, mm-hmm. and even if it's hard for them to swallow. Usually, when that when that relationship. Uh, breaks up or is 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 hurt because of the uh, situation. Mm-hmm. It's because one is trying to control mm-hmm. the other. Yep. I was just going to say that yeah. one that, is that control to will take over. Control. Like, tell some stuff. Now, now the the two that were one, the relationship, no, no, it ends in divorce or you, you all you guys was married and it breaks up. It wasn't because of the child. Right. Let's be because cool. the child is outside of the of the relationship. It's because you made a decision. Um decided you were going to do handle the child in this way. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. And I want you to do what I want us to do. Mm-hmm. And because I couldn't control you. Then our relationship breaks up. Whoever's trying to get to 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 enact control um, is the culprit mm-hmm. as to why relationship breaks up. Mm-hmm. That's true. 
I think um going back to the the um, topic of the weight, more most people are disgusted with Gabrielle, and Ooh. yeah, they are. Most people are disgusted with Gabrielle because what? she's so outspoken about it, and they're like, "That is not your child." That's how they feel. Oh, okay. So like that is that's not your child, but you doing this, you doing it. How does child mama feel? And the way you just following, following on behind her because you trying to keep getting marriage together with her, you know. So those are people outside opinions that is What's your opinion about it? I feel like. What's up, Joel and Erica? Say hey, y'all. On. I feel like that. Um. I mean, he, Dwayne, and Gabrielle, to my knowledge, are raising those children. Well, now, yeah, the younger two now. Um, in their home, and I think she has, um, she has a, I guess, opinion. Yeah, she's a person. She has an opinion, and she's a significant other in that child's life. Um, I think also because it's a a male child, people want to hear more from the father because it was a male child that happened. That this is this situation is current or, or highlighting. I think people want to hear more from the father, the the father figure. Like, what's your actual opinion? Because it seems like she's doing most of the talking. Like she's running everything, and, and it's like you just sitting back and saying whatever. So how do you feel about that? Ain't my monkey, ain't my shoe. That's what they say. So you don't have a. An, an I don't have an opinion. In my household, it's just like, okay, I, if I'm ever faced with that. Then I have to figure out, figure it out. But I ain't faced with it. I ain't giving it no thought. Okay. Um. So. Um. Yeah. I think that with people being upset with Gabrielle Union and uh wanting more conversation from Dwayne because he's the actual father, actual parent, and he's the man, and this is a boy. Um. I think that is trying to. Uh, hope that this mm-hmm. celebrity family is is a perfect American mm-hmm. ideal family, whatever that is, and that's that's wrong. There's no family that is this this uh, whatever this perfected uh, American um, ideal family is. So mm-hmm. uh, it, well, he's he's the father. He's supposed to be like this. Mm-hmm. That's 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 just we are uh, projecting onto them mm-hmm. what we want them to be. Mm-hmm. The Brady Bunch, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So a man is supposed to, or a woman is supposed to, mm-hmm. and a wife is supposed to be able to, and a, a stepmom is, mm-hmm. is supposed to do and not do. Mm-hmm. So we're projecting onto them, and that's never going to, that's, 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 right. Yeah. So Ken says, uh, well, hell, he in the closet himself, just my opinion. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> I said the closet himself. All right, Jessica says, the father always speaks on his son, daughter, though. Whenever he have interviews, he mm-hmm. talks about her. I've heard. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Kennedy says, the step-parent is in the position to raise the child uh, of the child lives in, because the child lives in their home. But people give or say what they want. The issue, opinion, is kid, that. Mm-hmm. Or it's yeah. just that, an opinion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The issue, opinion, is just that. It's, it's just an opinion. An opinion. Mm-hmm. Right. All right, Joe says, uh, they're doing a horrible job at developing them as kids. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Growing up uh, to be an adult. <laughs> they are letting their kids do whatever their young heart desires. Example, who would let their young child take pics kissing like that? I mean, plainly put, even if it was heterosexual. Yeah. Like, no. I'm going a little too far, a little too quick. Exactly. And then they have, and, and like I, I said, the exposure to social media. So That's let me get all my friends to like and see all this. And it's like, no, in my opinion, no. Now, Y'all not grown. That's, that's, you're not an adult. We are Southerners. So we have a, a Southern um, I mean, take yeah. on. How does she go? Maybe that's true. Because maybe say, hey, man, us, us up in the north, us here on the west, we don't have that. Or yeah. in another country. So y'all are, you know, you're actually 
uh, in uh, projecting your southern thought on the family. That's so, being too grown, too fast. Perhaps. Uh, okay. Then, um, then we're trying to say something. Then Jessica say something else. I don't know. But that's being too grown, too fast, in my opinion. My opinion is everyone, everyone raised, raised their mm-hmm. kids differently. What works for them may not work for us. Mm-hmm. I feel like as a mother of three boys, he was too young mm-hmm. to make that life decision. And that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is. Yep. It is not a right now decision. It is it's not. It's a life decision. It is a life decision. And exactly. someone say, okay, that's what happens when people get, you know, all that type of money. Because you got Magic Johnson. You know, I can do whatever. So now, you know, as your child, as a as a mm-hmm. child of a person with endless resources, I can just do whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, and maybe that's the case. Maybe it's not. I just think too much too much exposure too early gives you too many damn problems. Man, I'm telling you, I just can't say it. too early. What you say? You got some. I sure did. Did you cuss? I sure did. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. What for? Lift your hands, repent. Lift your hands, repent. Ah, right, you, you gotta repent for God with a good attitude. Lord. Oh! I, I mean, I, I just, overall, exactly. period. Too, many, too much exposure at a young age is, is too much. I mean, you're not gonna try to do stuff I'm not even doing. No. I'm not having it. All right, Terry says exactly when snitched. Anthony was in the eighth, the girl called me and said she was letting me know they was having sex. I didn't ask to talk to her mom. I pulled up. We need to talk. Heck to the up. Is you grown? And you won't come at me? Yeah, heck to the up. Look, girl, you and your mammy gonna get snatched. You brought me super girl. <laughs> Oh, you're so much. I can't even. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. So that's just. I mean, this overall. I just. I. This this day and age, these children today, and I think it's just because a lot of parents feel like they were not permitted or allowed to do certain things or wear certain things or say certain things or, keep, or get their hair the way that they liked it. So they're going to make sure that their children have all those amenities and luxuries. And that is okay, in my opinion, to a certain extent. Because that's you always want to do better. Like your parents tell you, do do better than me. Do better than me. I want you to surpass me. And you always want to do that and make sure your children are comfortable, as, as comfortable as you can provide for them to be. But I'm not going to go broke. And I'm not going to allow you to just do and say and wear and just be all... Uh, you're not gonna do that because you rep as a minor, as a child, you're representing me. Point blank, period. Good night. <laughs> Good night. See y'all next Tuesday. Um, if y'all got a subject, topic, concern, y'all want to talk about this is how to make love work. Yeah. Uh, we talk about all of it. We give our opinion and um. We're not nasty people or uh, condescending people, but we're going to give our opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, if you have anything I want to talk about, if you're having trouble in your relationship, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because uh, perhaps somebody else is having the same exact issue that, that, mm-hmm. that you're having. So let's talk about it. Uh, this is a platform to do that. <laughs> but, you know, sex in the house with the parents there. <laughs> you, but you know that's what people are Thank saying. Thank you, Terry. That's what people are saying, y'all. talking about some celebrity with their problem. <laughs> Jessica! They put it out there. Yeah, they put it out there. We're talk about it. So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, if y'all got if y'all got some stuff y'all need to talk about, or want us to talk about, yes. um, and you want to remain anonymous about the situation, then uh, we always do re- uh, allow people to remain anonymous. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, just send it to us, and we shall uh, talk about it. We'll give us, we'll give you guys our opinion. And anytime, don't just wait till Tuesday to send it to us. Send it to us anytime when you in the car, y'all having discussions. You read something, you see something, or post or something, you think that'd be a good topic, send it to us. Yeah. Inbox, just send it to us. We actually have some topics that uh, you know that we have a, a list of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can get to all of them. We only talk about one thing per episode. Uh, per episode. Mm-hmm. So send it in and we will uh, uh, get get on it. Some of the stuff we we most of it 
we've probably encountered somebody or another, either ourselves or people we've counseled. Uh, and then some of it we haven't, and we have to take time to yeah. research and to form an opinion of it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are getting a divorce. Let's talk, uh, let's talk about how to stay married during the hard time. That's a good one. That's very good. How to, how to make divorce. How to I'm make divorce. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, not an option. You're right. How to make divorce not an option. Is mm-hmm. divorce an option for you? Mm-mm. Yeah, divorce is not an option. How to make divorce. I mean, you can get to the point where you feel like it is an option. But don't let it be an option. Your love can overcome it. That's just the truth. People can get there to that point where it's like, this is it. This is the deal breaker. So we'll talk about it. <laughs> it's the truth. We'll talk about it. Uh, so we we definitely got uh, some uh, personal story time <laughs> when it comes to that. When oh, it comes to that. What's up? Um, so I'm not gonna give too much information, but we have a couples trip planned, and that's all I'm gonna say. Stay tuned, because we want y'all to come with us. Now look, <laughs> look now look now. If y'all can hang out with us here, and y'all can come hang out with us. Um, this is gonna be fun, and and you're gonna learn more. You're gonna see. You're gonna. I promise you, it's gonna be like, dang, I didn't know that it was like this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, y'all providing babysitters, not for bring people my who baby. have as many babies as y'all. Ah! <laughs> well, you could bring baby CJ. That's my guide. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Peace.